we're talking about this is definitely the day she went missing. The female, which is Kylie, I realized after, um, she was very hesitant and very skeptical on everything that was going on. The investigator said it's his most biggest lead yeah. that he has on the case. The pictures I saw, she wasn't wearing a ball cap. With me, she was wearing a ball cap, and it was a black, no, blue ball cap, blue ball cap. So I, I, I think something happened to her more than, than something accidental. So we just got out of Best Buy after picking up some supplies here in Reno, Nevada. We're on our way to work the Kylie Rodney case just down the street in Truckee, California. And Nick, a longtime supporter, fan of ours, um, appreciate you for coming up to us, possibly has some information in regards to the Kylie Rodney case. So why don't you explain a little bit about what, what you may have run into. So my name is Nick. I, I work at an emergency roadside uh, assistance program. Um, I got a call up in Truckee at Boca for a battery call, so pretty much that means that the vehicle can't start. So I went in route up there, found the vehicle. Um, at the time, I didn't realize that this was a situation until later on, but... Yeah, so let, me, let, me, let me stop you right there. Yeah. You said you, you went to Boca. Yes, sir. Uh, so over near Boca Lake? Yes, sir. So not Prosser uh, Lake, Prosser Creek Lake? Uh, it, it's right by Cro Crosser Creek. Yeah, so yeah. just north. So you you went you went to Boca. Yes, sir. Um, and you said you responded to a vehicle, and you you after, in hindsight realized it may have been this vehicle. What kind of vehicle was it that you responded to? It was a gray, like a lightish gray Honda four door sedan. Okay. All right. Or SUV. SUV I'm sorry. SUV? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And go ahead and, and describe So right. when I first go there, I usually do tests on the vehicle to see what's going on. Um, at first, when I went there, I realized after my test that, you know, everything was working great on the vehicle. Come to find out later, once I approached the vehicle and went inside, that the vehicle was in neutral. At the time, I thought that was kind of awkward that, you know, you can find out or realize that something like that could have been the case for, for why the vehicle wasn't starting. So I simply put it into park, um, started up the vehicle, everything was fine. At that point in time, I did notice that like she, the female, which is Kylie, I realized after, um, she was very hesitant and very skeptical on everything that was going on. She was asking me really weird questions, like in the sense of how do you put on your seatbelt correctly? And like, okay, and she asked me to show her on how to connect it to like her actual belt. Like, okay, that in my eyes, that was very awkward. I, deal with things that are kind of awkward so it's like all right it's just another day on the job yeah. um after that she was stating on how she was there all night and she couldn't get her vehicle started due to the fact that now we both realized it was in neutral she was wearing a sweatshirt so it looked like she has been there for quite a while what color was the sweatshirt it was a gray sweatshirt, gray sweatshirt. yeah okay. um also she had a guy with her he was was it was it dark gray or light gray it was light gray okay yeah uh, also, there, there was a guy there that was with her at time being. He was wearing a flat top ball cap facing forwards. Okay. Uh, brown hair that was sticking out just a little bit on the sides. Um, I didn't know. I assume that this is her boyfriend. I, I mean, from how they're interacting with each other. Um, but it, it was kind of like they were both kind of at 
unease is, is what it looks like for me. Like as if either they had a crazy night or a crazy day or there's something going on I, I couldn't know. And at the time I didn't realize what was going on. So, so let, let, me, let me stop you right there again. In hindsight, you're realizing all of this. When do you think that this took place? Was it before, during the day, after she disappeared? Uh, to be honest with you, it's either right after she disappeared or right before she disappeared. Okay. Um, but it was around noonish, like 11 o'clock in the morning when I got out to her. Okay. And um, yeah, it, at that point in time, once we finished everything, she did advise that she was going to be going home later in the day and that she needed to grab some things and she was going to be heading out. So I advised her that, hey, keep your vehicle running and, you know, you get home. But um, during that period of time, I, the, after the period, I told her that I was going to leave and I hope you have a great day. Vehicle, I told her to keep it running for a couple of hours to obviously make sure everything is working good on the vehicle, charging system wise. At that point in time, then I left. And then a week later is when I saw at a coffee shop that she was gone. And then that brought some. saw this on a flyer or something? Yeah, wow. I, I wow. came in with my girlfriend. We went into a coffee shop and it was a flyer and I was just in awe you know I thought I, my eyes were playing trips on me for a little bit because I'm like that's the girl that I was working with granted the pictures I saw she wasn't wearing a ball cap with me she was wearing a ball cap and it was a black no blue ball pack blue ball cap I'm sorry about that um, but then everything spiraled out of control and I got in contact with the detective and tried to do everything I could and yeah, and then I saw you guys. So I was like, all right, this is awesome. Like, let me yeah. go and try yeah. to th th catch th up th to Thanks you. for the intel. That, that's how everything that we do unfolds organically when we get into town from our viewers, locals who, who understand what we're doing. They contribute to what we're doing from all different angles. Like, this is, this is massive. Um, you know, what, whether, whether this was the day before, the day of, or the day after, this is a, a massive revelation into possibly leading us into the right direction of possibly finding her. Now we know we probably have a tie to Boca, you know, which we which was already on my radar. Um, do you know who placed the call to your roadside company? Was it her or the boyfriend or? So I, I can't get details. Calls don't go through me, they go through. Yeah, you just get digitally dispatched, so you don't have. Yes, so when you were digitally dispatched, did you call them to say you were coming or you just showed up? Uh, I did call and nothing went through. Nothing it went straight went to voicemail. Okay. Do you know if she had a phone on her at the time? She did state that her phone was dead. Her phone and was so dead. she used whatever guy, whoever this was, if it was her boyfriend, she used his phone. So that's how she did get in call. And, and what was, you mentioned like, she was asking funny questions and acting weird. So like the funny question, the most funny question, the one that stood out that I remember is about the seatbelt. I've never- What came about the seatbelt? About how to buckle a seatbelt. That was odd. So in, in, in granted, I, I, at the time I didn't realize again. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, being, I, I've been in the towing industry my whole yeah. life. So you see a lot of crazy stuff, a lot of weird stuff and it, it's actually pretty normal, it, yeah. you know, so I, I can I can see why at the time it's just but she just kept on phone. She kept on going over that like how do, how do you how do you like, you know Secure your seatbelt fat like firmly and like do it correctly and that's when, when, I was, when she was asking this Was the guy that she was with right there too? He was or? on the opposite side of the car so he could hear the conversation as well Yes, sir. Yeah, and I, I did notice and this is also something that I stated to the detective that Every single time the guy would come over to us, she would go on to the other side and it was just like a back and forth, like a tag team, better to say like one person would come over, she wouldn't stay near him and then it would go vice versa. Or if we were at the front of the car going about the battery and talking about the battery, he was always on one side, she was on the other, they were never close to each other. It's really odd behavior, it seems yeah. like to me. Unless she didn't like who she was with or she was uncomfortable. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, that, that, that screams uh, awkwardness and someone being uncomfortable and when in that scenario if he was there with her he should have been right next to her if not if not dealing with you the entire time and not exactly. and not not her um, he, he didn't really speak that how much, to, to use honest. a seatbelt did she seem high or intoxicated or I I try not to judge people at that sure. point I, so I try not to like possibly I I thought that maybe she was either hung over or just had a really rough day she looked distressed is what I could best describe as as if you're going through a lot so I, and I understand you know some people go through things but now looking back at it now it raises suspicion to right. me and i know the detective on okay what is actually going on what did happen that day yeah. and what was the reason for her being gone so 
I think that that's pretty relevant. That's why I try to chase you guys down. Right. Yeah. Can you, you. can you show me on the map yeah. where you saw her? Absolutely. All right. So let's, we're here in Reno. Let's go, let's go down to Chucky. There's, so, uh, okay. there's, there's Prosser, there's Boca. Yep. Okay. Just drop a pin on the road exactly where you saw her. Oh, hold on. Is that it? Hold on. No, there's a campground. No, that's not a campground. I'm sorry, I haven't looked from it. Oh, no, no worries. Take your time. I know there's a campground on the other side. No, it was on the right hand side. It was side. on the right side? Yeah. So that's going to be the northeast side of, there it is. It's a turnout. Your buddy has it on his phone now. We're at the right place, right? Boca, you come in, you follow this road down. Is that the turnout? No, that's not the turnout. I think that I think that is the turnout. Right there. I have to verify. I had it pinpointed on his. That doesn't look familiar. Your buddy. Okay. Put it down. Alright. You know, this is this is great information that that, that could lead us. You know, B Boko was on my radar already. As, as of one of our very next locations. And um, if you're talking about running into her the next day, she doesn't have a phone. She's, she's, a, she's at another campground. Her phone is dead. She's with somebody that's, uh, possibly. yeah, yeah. I, something's wrong, especially with the how to use a seatbelt. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. that's extremely alarming. It was, it was that, yeah, was that a distress call or was she just, uh, you know, out of it because she had been drinking all night? She was at a party yeah. all night long. We know yeah. she, we know due to, you know, accounts of other people who were at the party who said that, you know, she was highly intoxicated. So if this was the next day, she's going to appear to be hungover and so forth. So I don't know. There's a lot of things you can draw from that, but it's, it's great information. And thank you for Absolutely. coming up to us. Thank you for watching you everything so we do. Thank you so thank much. You. Supporting Absolutely. everything we do. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this position. Just simply watching what we do makes, uh, makes us able to do everything that we do. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, got, I got some questions. Uh, based on just everything you just said and your experiences there, what is your outcome? What do you think went on? I think it, it something was going on between her and whoever the male was that she was with is from what I saw just due to her character and how she was holding herself and the questions that she was asking. Um, so I, I, I think something happened to her more than, than something accidental. Based on how her car was positioned, which way do you think she would have naturally started driving? Uh, out, going out the road. Towards town? Yeah. To the road that leads you up to the highway, yeah. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, cool, cool. We're good. Can you, can you, I, we're not videotaping, can you show him? I can zoom in and find the right part. I got the, because I got the precise right part on his. I don't want to show you that. Here, uh, just talk about it again. I'll turn the recording on. You have it pinpointed? Cause that's crucial. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was farther back. I wasn't even going that far back on your phone. There you go. So if you zoom in right here, mm -hmm. so her car was right there facing diagonal down and I pulled on my van right here okay. when she came in, but she was trying to come out this road where her car was. So it's kind of weird that it was in the middle of the right. road and on top of that, like it wasn't starting because it was in neutral. So obviously she had to stop for some reason and get out which now i'm looking back at it and i haven't even thought about it this heavily until now yeah. that is kind of weird because she was like as you can see within the road oh geez where'd it go is this it hold on 
Yeah, this is it. And so right there, how she was coming out this way. So her front, her front end was facing 84, I mean 894. Yeah. All right. And, so and, and, and did you leave before her or did she leave before you? I, I left before her. Okay. Yeah, and I, I don't stay at my calls after I've yeah, been. Plus you advise her to let it to let it run for a little bit. Yep. Was there anybody else around? Uh, there was people far back here, yes, uh, but not near her, no. Okay. Just her and that gentleman that was Do you her. think she was camping in that campground right there? Um, or do you think she's just broken down? I think she, like, from... I mean, the campgrounds are farther down, like a little bit, like you're closer to the beach. So she possibly could have been there, but like in her car, there was nothing in her car. Like it was just seats. There wasn't like camping gear, you know, a, a tent or a sleeping bag or pillows or anything like that. It was just like your normal seat. Did, did you notice anything in particular in her car at all? Any I personal mean, stuff? Besides perfume bottles and like, yeah, actually there was a perfume bottle that was in the center console and that was all that I recall, to be honest. Did she have anything on her keys at all? Like, I, I don't remember what was on. Okay. All right. Any other questions from anybody? Did the uh, investigator that you got a hold of, have they called you back to, did they grill you with questions too at all to so, get details? So he drilled me with a whole bunch of questions. This was over the phone. Um, and at that point in time, then it got escalated to to my company so then they could handle the rest and at that point in time I haven't heard anything since that. But you said, did you say that you guys have cameras that could possibly get some sort of facial recognition on? Yeah, so we, we do indeed. We have cameras facing front and rear of our vehicles as well as that we do have like audio so we could pick up audio from inside and outside of the truck. So we did have that and I'm guaranteed, I mean, my vehicle is facing directly towards hers. So, and that, that's how I normally do it for my protection. But, um, so you're able to see the full vehicle, including her and the male that was with her. And, and, and your company has seized all of that and they're working with the authorities on yeah. all that all that information. So, but it's probably buried in all of the tips that they have, honestly. Um, not something like this. Did, they, they didn't you to... say that they said it was a... The investigator said it's his most biggest lead yeah. that he has on the case, yeah. So, biggest lead, yeah, in the case. If this is true, not if it's true, but if this happened the night after the party, the day after the party, mm -hmm. I meant, uh, this gentleman you're talking about will be the number one suspect, honestly. Right through the the mail there. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. So if you could go into detail, just try to describe it one one last time. You said ball cap hair coming out. What else you got? Um, he had a bro tank on. It was white. Um, he had ball cap, black base. It wasn't even baseball hat. It's a flat like or flat bill hat facing forward. It was kind of off to the sideways. Um, age about the same age, a little older. You saw a picture of him. Could you say yes or no? Uh, his face. Yeah. Yeah. Can you pull up the picture of the boyfriend? Oh yeah, that's the same hat too. Now, again, you know, for your protection, our protection, this is all alleged. And that we're not we're not saying anything. We're not we're not um, insinuating anybody. Obviously, to us this would be just a person of interest, like just as like it would be to a, any detective or investigator who's investigating this case. So we're not we're not implying guilt or anything like that whatsoever. We, we also don't know if this was the day before, the day of, or the day after. Um, but that, that's, up, that's, for up, uh, that's for us to put together sure. and figure out where that fits. Okay. Um, but it's major information, especially you just identifying um, who we know is a close, close person to her, whether he was a boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, that's, that's pretty big, that's okay. pretty big, so. Any other questions? When you went into detail about, well, I guess we covered that by its looks, but just for the sake of the camera, uh, skin complexion, hair color, hair height, So his hair, I mean, from the picture that you showed me, it was sticking out a lot with me. It wasn't sticking out that much. I mean, I saw brown hair sticking out on the corners of each side of his hat. But other than that, he was, uh, I mean, a thinner built guy is the best way I could put it, um, with a bro tank and uh, it was white bro tank. Uh, he had some freckles on his face, like, or maybe it was like uh, acne or whatnot, but it was on both sides of his face. Um, and he had that black, San Francisco. 
Oh, he, he, he was also a little bit like shorter than me, so I'm 6'3", so he, he, he was shorter than me. I would put him probably like a little under six foot, I would was guess. He, was he white? Was he... He, was, he was white. He was Caucasian, yeah. Oh, what, what days do you work? What, what, uh, what's the window you're giving us of when this happened? Uh, either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, I believe. I one of the, cause the weekends I usually cover Truckee, so, and that Friday I also worked in Truckee, so, yeah. If you were to make a bet on what day it was, what would you say? I, I mean, I, when I was looking back under my GPS, under my phone and where I've been, I was there both Saturday and Sunday, farther in to Boca. So, so I, not Friday. Did, did you take any memorable pictures that same day that happened? Because that would be a way to catalog the, the possible date that that happened. Uh, if you remember I, like eating lunch at like Wendy's that same day and you took a I, picture of your meal. I actually called uh, my girlfriend right after because of how awkward the situation was. Let's let's pull up the catalog of that phone yeah, call to yeah. see if we can find it. So just, just to make sure, it, does, does he look familiar to you at all? Yeah, he didn't have like, the beard was kind of gone, but his hair was not down that far. It was like, I don't know if you could block that out. It was like to right there, but it was going back as if it was going back. So on, 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 on a scale from one to ten, that that's a nine. That's a, okay. All right. Yeah. So so at at the time, I think it would be safe to say that his hair was like maybe pulled back. Yeah, he doesn't have that much acne. The guy that I saw, I don't know if it's because it's blurry, but he had like right underneath, he had like little little red marks and whatnot. That was one thing that I saw, but again, I don't try to judge. I just try to. Yeah. You have a crazy good memory, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> uh, are you are you known to just be really good at stuff like this? Uh, I mean, I'm able to remember quite a bit. Yeah, some things that like stick out, and this is one thing. Usually, I, I don't remember normal day instances at work, but this one was kind of it stuck out from the beginning. That's why I did call over to my girlfriend because I was so kind of in. It, was, it was, was so confused. alarming that you yeah. called your girlfriend. Yeah, because I, I was confused because I've never ran into a situation where you know when you call for a breakdown and it's, so it, it, it's, it's just in neutral. You know? is, so, is there a specific uniform that you wear or do you just dress casually? I, I, I wear a uniform, yeah. Because I'm thinking like maybe like Friday you wore a specific hat and then maybe you took a selfie that same day. That would be a way to pinpoint it. Um, let me... Because if this is the day after, this yeah, would be that, super that, cool. that, that That date changes a lot. Okay. I know she has the exact. She might have found it. I don't know. What she... So we have everything we need. If, if we can squeeze one last information of, <laughs> of what day that was, it's done. It's golden. We have like. Does she have? She has a date for what Saturday and Sunday? I both called her. Yeah. I, I mean. Well, what day did she? Was she reported missing? August sixth. Which was what? Um. She went. She went missing. The last communication with her was 12:30 a.m. August sixth. Her parents like did not. They did not hesitate. That same day, it was dead serious. At what time? That Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. So it was probably the same day that. So you could be the last person that saw them, allegedly, other than the people at the party well, that I talked. He identified as not Friday, so we don't need much more. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So she went missing on Saturday. You didn't work on Friday. It wasn't Friday. It was either Saturday or Sunday. So, so we're talking about we're talking about this is definitely the day she went missing. As of right now, the way everything points to is that this is the day she went missing, and guaranteed, or the day after she went missing. So that's huge. huge because she was with her friends the day before the party. Right. She wouldn't be at the lake. Right. Right. That's awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. You, you gave us a really good area to start searching, man. I, I really hope that helps you guys out a lot. So that'll be awesome. Yeah. Yeah.